good morning and welcome to World of Sport Replay with your host, Peter Donegan. Good morning everyone, welcome to World of Sport Replay on this rather pleasant Sunday morning here in Melbourne. And our thanks once again to Sandy Roberts and Kevin Bartlett, cut off in their prime but nonetheless a great show this morning. And uh, today on World of Sport Replay we'll be taking a look at uh, yesterday's big JJ Liston Stakes card at Sandown Park, the Greyhound Racing highlights from this week and also a very spectacular night of harness racing last night at Mooney Valley. But before we do all that, let's take a look at Tats Lotte numbers from last night. Draw number 427 and the Division 1 prize pool over $1,600,000. Numbers in numerical order were 4, 5, 15, 24, 31 and 42 with the supplementary numbers 23 and 25. And in Super 66 last night, the numbers were 0, 5, 2, 1, 5 and 4. Tats Lotto and Super 66 has drawn here on 7 last night after this break. Back with JJ Liston Stokes yesterday from Sandown Park. Welcome back to World of Sport Replay and yesterday JJ Liston Stakes Day at Sandown Park, the first wait for age race of the new season and the track was heavy although the going was pretty good over near the rail and the wider actually got the heavier it was so as we're about to see uh, most of the winners came close to the rail yesterday at Sandown Park. Eight races on the program, the first event was the Berwick Handicap, 1600 metres the journey, the favourite was lots of rule at six to four, let's pick up the action with the accurate one, Bill Collins. Racing, they jumped away in a good even line. Hard to pick an early leader, Bright Bar and Pass Lip the outside and Vice like uh, being ridden, uh, Vice Regal being ridden very hard and going through along the inside as Dynamic Dancer up to join the leaders. When they settle down into stride, uh, we saw a great battle uh, going on for the lead here. There's still not much between the eight runners and uh, the leaders now over on the outside. Pass Lips finally working to the lead from Dynamic Dancer. Lots of rule and vice like grip. A length further back then on the outside, Major Pilgrim at half a length to Lost Mine. Bright Bar the outside and two lengths to Pride of Halberg. As they head towards the 1,000 metre mark and Pass Lip in front, but he can't get away so far today. He's three parts of a length in front of Vice like grip. One to Lots of rule. Three parts to Dynamic Dancer. A length made a Pilgrim, Bright Bar and Lost Mine booting up on the inside and a length and a half to uh, at last place Pride of Halberg. 800 to go coming down the hill and past it now about a length and a half in front here. Vice like grip second and neck away lots of rule. Wonder Dynamic Dancer being booted up and they've got away three lengths to Lost Mine and Bright Bar. Major Pilgrim's going backwards and Pride of Halberg going up on its inside. But the three leaders have split away coming to the turn or the four of them really. Past it a length and a half clear. Dynamic Dancer's found a new lease of life going up on the outside Lots of rule trying to get out from the fence and as they go past the 300 vice like grip with 150 to go and dynamic dancer got to the lead lots of rule is bullocking through in the center to join it from on the inside pass left it's still dynamic dancer ahead in front of on the inside uh, lot, lots of rule it's dynamic dancer about a head clear lots of rule trying hard but dynamic dancer drawing away and coming home again vice like grip the outside but dynamic dancer is going on to win it by about two lengths very close for the miners, getting up on the line. Vice like grip for second, a nose away third. Here's lots of rule, about four lengths away then. At the uh, head of the others is pass left, followed by Pride of Howberg, a long gap further back, Major Pilgrim, Bright Bar, and Lost Miners tailed off last. Well, that was a start the punters could have done without yesterday at Sandown. Dynamic Dancer in the first 20 to 1, Vice like grip at fours, and the favourite, lots of rule. He looked a, a strong winning chance with 200 metres to go at 6-4 to four running third. The Grange handicap the second over the 1,000 metre course and the favourite here, the Bob Hoist, had trained Touch of Genius at 9-4. to four. They're racing this time. Jumped away pretty well too. Lazy Feet first out from Touch of Genius and Smart Bid got away nicely from Gemini Flyer Style at the outside. Delightful Bell going up on the fence. Then San Juan Amigo taking a while to get up towards the leaders and they were followed further back. Chestnut Gold and State members tailed off. Heading up to the 600, Touch of Genius just the leader now from Lazy Feet. Two lengths away in third placing then Gemini Flyer followed by San Juan Amigo. Then came Starlap a couple to Glenn Morriston, Delightful Bell two or three to Smart Bid. Round the 
the turn and touch of genius race clear and charged away from lazy feet at the 400 two lengths away San Juan Amigo Gemini Flyer and then Delightful Bell followed by Starlap and Smart Bid but this one's bolting touch of genius with 300 to go it drew two lengths to lazy feet Delightful Bell getting out late going out after touch of genius touch of genius in front Delightful Bell flying home he's gone for the whip on touch of genius Delightful Bell grabbing it going up on the inside as they hit the line and Delightful Bell got up Delightful Bell's one of the half-head to touch of genius. Five lengths away, third, Lazy Feet, and they were followed by Smart Bid. Then Glenn Morriston, followed by Gemini Flyer at the head of the others was uh, San Juan Amigo. Next state member, Chestnut Gold, and last home was Starlap. Flying finish from Delightful Bell to get the verdict by a short head at 4-1 to one from the favourite at 9-4 touch of genius and Lazy Feet running third at 6-1. to one. The Woodcliffe had it cap uh, 2,400 metres the journey and here Planinka, the top weight, who looked a special on weights, was sent to the post the 9-4 to four favourite. Got away pretty well, just unreal, might have been a little slow. Triptych bounced quickly to the lead from Ask again and then Brinkworth chog on the outside from Fearless Charm. Then Riddle in court on the outside, Planica back behind it with just unreal. Kinzan and Willie's lad has dropped out to last. Up to the 200 metre mark the first time they race and Ask again and Redland have gone up to join Triptych in the lead. A length to chog on pulling a little bit. One to Fearless Charm, Brinkworth on the rails. One to Kinzan, Planica on the inside next from just unreal and Willie's lad. They're very well bunched at the judge 1900 metres to go and ask again the grey in front about a length now to riddle in tripped it settled third on the fence and three parts to chog a length and a half brinkworth fearless charm then two lengths to planinka on its outside kinzan and wider out willie's charm and willie's lad and last of all just unreal out of the straight, 1,700 to go, and Ask again, lobbing along in front, about two lengths now to Redland, and a length further back, Triptych. One and a half to Choggam, a length, Brinkworth, a half, Fearless Charm, there's no pace on. One and a half, Planinka, on the inside of Kinzan, and two lengths away came Willie's Lad and Just Unreal, and they're only eight lengths off the leader. Into the back stretch, 1,400 metres to go. And the pilot is Ask again. He's two lengths in front of Redland, two to Triptych, joining it on the outside is Choggam. Two lengths to Fearless Charm, a half to Brinkworth, a length and a half, Kinzan, Planinka, locked in on the inside just unreal sprinting around the outside in the slow pace and the length away willie's lad gouchy has got a good hold of ask again at the 1200 and brinkworth the hurdle has gone up to head him off third is fearless charm and a length further back then in the field came riddle in next choggam on the outside of it just unreal and then a length further back tripped it from kinzan one to planinka and a length and a half willie's lad Brinkworth the leader with a thousand metres to go. A length and a half ask again with his ears scrubbed off now from Fearless Charm. Then a half length Riddle in the rails, one to Choggam. They've got away three lengths to Kinzan. Dropping out Triptych, Planinka on its outside and a length further back Willie's Lad and last just unreal. They come down to the 700, ask again has again gone up to join Brinkworth. A half to Fearless Charm moving up on the outside three deep from Riddle in Choggam. Three lengths to Kinzan. Planinka making a bit of ground, he's about six off the lead and then Willie's Lad. Ask again and Brinkworth led into the straight. Ask again doing better. Then Reddle in. They're followed by Fearless Charm the outside and Choggam trying to push through in the centre. Planinka is under the whip with 2.50 to go. Ask again just the leader. He can't get away from Brinkworth. Reddle in getting out to the danger with Fearless Charm. Planinka's running in behind them. Reddle in got to the lead from Ask again at the 200. On the outside Fearless Charm and Brinkworth fighting back on the fence. Reddle in the leader however. He's coming away as they get near the line and Reddle in goes on to win by two lengths to Fearless Charm. Uh, ask again in the centre, might have got third from Brinkworth, not much between the three of them. About three lengths to Planinka at the head of the others from Choggam. A long gap to Kinzan, followed by Triptych, Willie's lad, and tailed off was just unreal. Perfect ride by Neil Perryman on Redland at 12 to 1 to land the money in the Woodcliffe handicap. A dead heat for second between Ask again at 5 to 2, Fearless Charm at 6 to 1, and Planinka disappointing at 9 to 4 and unplaced. First leg of the Quadrilla race for the Twilight Glow handicap, and after an excellent performance last Last week at Caulfield, Maya Yukoi was the favourite at three to one. And one of the first out, Hepburn. Aussie Banter quickly racing to the lead with Velvet, and on the outside is Condescend going up quickly. Maya Yukoi back behind them, Patience Reward going forward, and Miss Centimore from the outside. 
At the judge they race now, and Velvet took over about a length and a half to Miss Centimore. Two and a half lengths condescend from Patience Award Aussie Banter. Then goal stage, a length and a half Maya Yakoi and Hepburn, and then one to Eve's wrist. Bronze Splendor second last, and Queen Cara is last. Out of the straight with 1,600 to go, and Velvet's bowling along about three lengths in front of Miss Centimore. Two lengths away then, Patience Award outside condescend. Another couple of lengths further back in the field, Aussie Banter. Goal stage outside it, a length and a half Eve's wrist going forward, a half to Maya Yakoi, one to Hepburn, a length to Bronze Splendor and a half length to Queen Cara. At the 1400 and Velvet is still sailing along about three lengths to Patience Reward has gone up second on the outside of Miss Centimore. Eve's risk making ground, they've slowed up a little bit here now. A length and a half further back Condescend goal stage, a length and a half Maya Yakoi is now three deep around Aussie Banter and Hepburn getting up on the fence and two to Bronze Splendor and Queen Cara. 1100 out and Velvet still showing them a clean pair of heels, three lengths to Patience Reward up second. A half Miss Centimore and a neck away Eve's wrist going up three deep. Then three lengths to Condescend, one to goal stage. Hepburn on the inside of Aussie Banter. A length to Maya Yakoi being hard ridden and racing greenly from Queen Car and on the outside of it, Bronze Splendor. Down the hill, 800 to go and Velvet a length and a half clear. Eve's wrist has gone up nicely to be second from Miss Centimore. Patience Reward lost a bit of ground going down the hill and is under the whip. Maya Yakoi's out three or four deep but starting to make some ground and going through with it as goal stage from Condescend. Bronze Splendor getting a bit closer. Hepburn struggling from Aussie Banter and Queen Cara. On the corner, Velvet a length or so clear of Eve's wrist. Then came Miss Centimore, Patience Award. Maya Coy's out about six wide with goal stage. And Bronze Splendor trying to get a run. Velvet grabbed by Eve's wrist with 200 to go. Patience Award coming at them from goal stage. Maya Coy still racing greenly under the whip. Patience Award getting to Eve's wrist with 150 to go. And Patience Award striding away from Eve's wrist. Well back, Velvet and Condescent. Maya Coy, Bronze Splendor, but Patience Reward wins two and a half lengths to Eve's wrist. Going to be a good battle for third placing as they get to the line. Bronze Splendor got up for third. A nose in front of Condescend and then came Aussie Banter. Next in the field would be uh, Maya Coy with Velvet. They were followed further back, Miss Centimore, Gold Stage and then Queen Cara and last home a long way away was Hepburn. Patience Reward too good for them at 6-1, to one, beating the 100-1 to one chance Eve's risk. Bronze Splendor getting up to third at 11-2. Maya Coy covered a fair bit of ground, but didn't run on as well as expected, unplaced at 3-1. to one. The big one of the day, the JJ Liston Stakes, race 5 at Sandown, 1,400 the journey, and the favourite King Delamere at 2-1. to one. Caught them OK, and when they settle down, Bow Mistress driving through in the centre has gone up to take the lead from Gala Wish and Luther's Luck, Tristark, a length King Delamere up fifth today. There followed by Dynasty Prince Feinhofer getting up on the fence from Contemplation, Kiwi Slave wide from Moss Kingdom and last wise decision. At the thousand, Bow Mistress three parts to Luther's Luck, a length and a half, Gala Wish a half, Tristark. One to Feinhofer and King Delamere, a length Kiwi Slave and they were followed further back by Dynasty Prince and Contemplation. Three to Moss Kingdom and a couple away in last placing wise decision. 8.50 to go, about to come down the hill and Bow Mistress three parts to Luther's Luck. It's been an even pace, they haven't gone all that fast. One a gala wish a half to King Delamere now up fourth a length further back Kiwi Slave has been trapped deep throughout then fine off a contemplation pushing up in the centre a length further back Dynasty Prince Tristark losing ground from Moss Kingdom and a gap to wise decision they're on the turn 500 to go Bow Mistress a half length to Luther's Luck one to King Delamere easing to the outside from Gala's Wish and then follows Kiwi Slave then contemplation at the head of the others at the 400 she can't get away Bow Mistress Luther's Luck's got her King Delamere went up to them easily on the outside Side from Contemplation and then Kiwi Slave. Luther's Luck took the lead. King Delamere grabbing it now from Kiwi Slave at the 200. And King Delamere strode to the lead from Luther's Luck and then Kiwi Slave and Feinhofer. And King Delamere is going to win it easily. A length and a half to Luther's Luck. Two lengths away third. Kiwi Slave just got it from stablemate Feinhofer. Four lengths away Contemplation and they're followed by Dynasty Prince. Not a bad run. And also Moss Kingdom next. And then Tristark followed by Gala Wish. Wise decision. And Bow Mistress weakened badly to run last. Well, he looked terrific in the mounting yard yesterday, King Delamere, and he ran right up to that to take out the list in two to one in favourite. Luther's like a good game performance at 12 to one, and Kiwi Slave third at five to one. The Bellhaven handicap third leg of the Quadrella race six in the top weight here. Asher Star, the popular pick at two to one. Rocking away they go. 
And they jumped pretty well. I'm No Saint was the first out from Asher Star. Their favourites began well. Black Charleston going through to head them off on the inside. And My Good Fella on the outside. The top four in the betting. Superfit is running fifth the length away and then followed in repute, followed by uh, Nother Nay. Uh, back behind those horses then uh, Rick's Cafe. Python is well back in the field with Liaison, Tra and Harmony Breeze in pursuit towards the rear with last of all Chester Fair. Down the hill at the 800, My Good Fella a length in front of Black Charleston slows them up now. Length and a half, I'm No Saint is on the inside as Black Charleston takes over, pushes Asher Star three deep. Then a length and a half further back in the field is Super Fit, followed by In Repute, and they're a long way in front of Northern Nay. On the corner, 4.50 out now, Black Charleston joined by I'm No Saint and Asher Star, they're in line. Super Fit next and My Good Fella behind them on the fence from In Repute. Coming up to the 300 metre mark now, and it's a good battle. Black Charleston still there with Asher Star and I'm No Saint under the whip, the three of them. It's on the outside, Asher Star taking the lead now from Black Charleston. I'm No Saint fighting back, Asher Star just the leader, drawing away a length in front. Oh, he's coming right away from them now, dash two lengths in front, and Asher Star's going to canter in. Scores by more than two lengths. Good battle for the minor placings. Nothing much in this, nearly a dead heat for the minors. Black Charleston on the rails, and I'm No Saint. In repute was fourth, and then came uh, at the head of the others, my good fella. Further back then came Northern Ney, and with it would be Harmony Breeze, Liaison Tra. Well back in the field is Chesterfield with Python, and Pursuit Superfit and Rick's Cafe last. He's still pretty green, but he's very good, Asher Star. Two to one in favourite, coming right away to beat I'm No Saint at five to two, who also raced to Radically Black Charleston third at four to one. Last leg of the Quadrella race seven, the Waratah handicap Clear Lady, the Colin Hayes trained horse, was the favourite at seven to four. There they go. Rustling Spring and Brugolino a little slow. Sunday Star began well from Golden Twig and Clear Lady and Galway Gale, seen of the outside. And they were followed by Windstar Girl back behind those horses. Highland Soldiers tucked away on the inside of the next bunch. Savanella going around them out wide from Vivano just for Paula Rustling Spring. True Sense dropping back in the field and they were followed by Mattershell. What opposition Carada near the rear and Brugolino last. At the 800 metre mark and Windstar Girl took the lead a length to Golden Twig eased behind it. A length further back in third place in Clear Lady travelling up comfortably from Savanella. A length and a half then Sunday Star and they were followed then by Galway Gale around the outside from Highland Soldiers and Cena headed the remainder from Rustling Spring. Windstar Girl led clearly a length and a half into the straight to Clear Lady going very easily on the outside. They were followed then behind those horses by Golden Twig. Cena running on fairly well and then Sunday Star and Sabanella but Clear Lady goes to the lead at the 200. He's had to feel for the whip now as Golden Twig battles back from Windstar Girl but with 150 to go Clear Lady bursts away from Golden Twig and they're followed by Highland Soldier and Cena battling on but Clear Lady wins by five lengths to Golden Twig. Cena was third, then Vibano, followed by Highland Soldier Galway Gale. Behind them is Windstar Girl and then Brugolino. Next, Rustling Springs, Sabanella. Then just for Paula, what opposition? Well back is True Sense. And back with it is Mattershell and there's one still coming, Carada. Accelerating brilliantly over the final stages. Clear Lady drawing away for a big win. 7 to 4 in favourite. Golden Twig at 10 to 1 and Cena third at 12 to 1. The lucky last, the dual choice handicap. 1200 the journey. A wide open betting affair. Spring Pleasure the favourite at 4 to 1. Carmen Delora is a little bit slow over on the inside. Great battle early. Heavenly Power, Cara's Girl among the early leaders. Spring Pleasure heading them off in the centre now. Lady Rivette away well is showing plenty of pace when they settle down. Miron Spur just behind them on the rails with Lady Damiani. When that settled down into stride now and Cara's Girl, it is on the outside. A narrow leader from Lady Rivette, a length Spring Pleasure. A length to Heavenly Power, followed then by Boletto getting up on the inside of Lady Damiani. Uh, there's a bunch of horses there disputing those positions. Then the Miron Spur is dropped out of it along the inside fence. Christina going around the outside up towards the leaders at this stage with Bell Spirit. Down to the 600 and the leader Cara's Girl and Nick Heavenly Power out after it. Lady Rivette looking for the rails run and Bell Spirit coming around them three deep. Then Christina followed by Spring Pleasure and Boletto looking for the rails run from Santa Orien. Cara's Girl, the leader, kicked away a length and a half into the straight from Heavenly Power. Lady Rivette is struggling. They're followed by Bell Spirit, Spring Pleasure, Santa Orien under the whip from Christina. Cara's girl getting the stitch at the 200. Here's Santa Orien with a big run. Santa Orien's gobbling up Heavenly Power and Cara's girl with 100 to go. Santa Orien dashed to the lead now from Heavenly Power, Cara's girl and Lady Damiani. And Santa Orien wins it easily, more than two lengths. 
Second, Heavenly Power. Third, placing to Lady Damiani. They were followed further back by Cara's Girl. Uh, then came Bell Spirit, Lady Rivette, Christina Boletto, Timid Miss, Wellback Spring Pleasure, and uh, with it was Tatiara. And then came Carmen Dolores back at the rear. Winning double for Kevin Forrester yesterday in the first and last races at the park. Santa Oriana 10 to 1, Heavenly Power 12s, Lady Damiani 16s, and the favourite Spring uh, Pleasure in the middle of the field at 4 to 1. The doubles yesterday, the extra double at Sandown 2 and 8, 27, 30. Daily double 2 and 5, $7.50. And the Quadrilla 8 to 1 and 5, 233.30. The big meeting in Sydney, the extra 6 and 8, 8.30. And the daily double, 8 and 10, 37.70. In Adelaide, the extra, 11 and 3, $420.30. Daily double, 12 and 7, 127.35. In Brisbane, 9 and 8, the daily double, $62.40. At Werribee, the provincial meeting, 1 and 1 in the extra, 6.20. Daily double on 2 and 1, 460. And the Quadrilla on 2, triple 1, paid $71.40. And that was the way Channel 7 cameras saw racing and as you saw it live here on 7 yesterday afternoon at Sandown Park. After this break, Greyhound Racing highlights from this week.